When a boat's been sitting for over two years, it's hard to know where to begin. I mean, it needs everything. Power, running water, refrigeration, and a place to sleep. But opening a boat after it has sat for this long was like opening a time capsule. It was strange. Everything preserved by the previous owner. Just as he'd left it. Like he'd be back at any time to pick up where he left off. Spices, hand soap, and toothbrushes were all still sitting in their assigned places. Provisions were still in the icebox and pantry. But with a power cord plugged in, it was time to prioritize the list. We began by adding four gallons of distilled water into the highly neglected batteries in an attempt to save them. We then flipped the switch controlling the refrigerator and crossed our fingers. In the meantime, Tammy spent the first few days cleaning and organizing everything, going to the laundromat and then cleaning some more. Every dish, drawer, and cabinet were sanitized. The old food and spices were thrown away and replaced. Every panel was sterilized with bleach, and then more bleach. But getting rid of the clutter was half the battle. It seems like everything was left behind. Bills, letters, even credit cards. Old monitor-style TVs with built-in VHS players. And of course, the VHS movies themselves. Everything was tossed. But soon, projects were starting to get marked off the list. Holes were drilled for the new cockpit instruments. Then they were carefully mounted into place. A new radar was installed. The entire battery bank was replaced. and a fancy new chart plotter and monitor were added. We even installed a camera at the top of the mast that can be displayed on the chart plotter. The engine rooms even have their own infrared cameras. And it was nice to see both cell drives engage in forward and reverse after Mark had installed new seals and zincs. We had to replace a leaky water pump on the generator. The delamination repairs seem to be never ending. They've been at it for months now. We had new window screens installed, along with a cockpit enclosure. A new mattress was cut to fit and actually makes for a great night's sleep. A Wi-Fi router was installed for that all-important free internet. And our $2,000 Broco strainer wouldn't power up. So we removed it and we still couldn't figure out how to disassemble it. So we sent it to the manufacturer for repair. But in the meantime and during all these repairs, we still made time to buff off years of oxidation. And it's actually looking pretty good. And then one day, the mast came down. The running and standing rigging will all be replaced. It was exciting and nerve-wracking all at the same time, especially when you couldn't get the turnbuckles to release. After heat was applied and pry bars were used, just beating the shit out of it seemed to work the best. See how hard they're working? and how stressed out they look. It was a stressful day. But we still make time to visit Duval Street every now and then to see the street performers. I said an impression. Who am I? Here's a trick the Statue of Liberty can't do. You don't have to clap for me. You could clap for your country and our troops. God bless America. Look what I do for a living. <laughs> and there's no drug test. I need a sign to let me know you're here. All of these lines are being crossed over the atmosphere.
damn it. I'm gonna, I can delete that. Will you quit making noise over there? I'm not making noise. Okay, shh. Do what? Unless you just slam them. Do you hear that? It feels like crap here. 